René Descartes was a famous French philosopher, writer, and mathematician. He was born March 31, 1596, and died on February 11, 1650, at the age of 53. He was highly educated in his youth. After studying civil law, he wrote Meditations on First Philosophy, Principles of Philosophy on Metaphysics, The Description of the Human Body, and Passions of the Soul. Descartes is often referred to as the father of modern philosophy. Refusing to accept the beliefs of previous philosophers and even his own senses, he initiated a new way of thinking known as hyperbolic doubt, which is a form of radical skepticism. This means that he would rebuild his bank of knowledge from scratch and only accept information that could be proven without a doubt. After adopting hyperbolic doubt as a way of thinking, Descartes began to question many commonly accepted beliefs. The Dream Argument René Descartes stated, I often have perceptions very much like the ones I usually have in sensation while I am dreaming. There are no definite signs to distinguish dream experience from waking experience. Therefore, it is possible that I am dreaming right now and that all of my perceptions are false. Another argument he believed in was the deceiving God argument. In this argument, René stated, we believe that there is an all-powerful God who has created us and who is all-powerful. He has I in his power to make He has in his power to make us be deceived even about matters of mathematical knowledge which we seem to see clearly. Therefore, it is possible that we are deceived even in our mathematical knowledge of the basic structure of the world. Descartes' most popular belief is cogito ergo sum, or I think therefore I am. This is the belief that although he could be easily deceived, he must exist in order to be deceived at all. Therefore, he must exist. If you would be a real seeker after truth, it is necessary that at least once in your life you doubt, as far as possible, all things. It is not enough to have good talent. The main thing is to apply it well. Reading good books is like engaging in conversation with the most cultivated minds of past centuries, who had composed them, or rather, taking part in a well-conducted dialogue in which such minds reveal to us only the best of their thoughts. An optimist may see a light where there is none, but why must the pessimist always run to blow it out? Thanks for watching.